Hi, I'm Rocky Jacobson from Dugling Bull Game Call Company. Uh, today's show, we're going to take you on an archery elk hunt in northern central Idaho. Uh, Mike Batiste from Boise, Idaho, the pro staffer for my company. He's taken a good friend of his, Klein Lowe, out. Uh, Klein hasn't been able to take an elk yet with his bow, but on this show, he takes his first elk, and it's a good one. I'd be proud to take an elk like this. Michael does a great job of calling him in, shows him some of the techniques that Mike does. So sit back and watch what Mike can do with the elk calls we produce.
I'm Klein Lowe and I just got the bowl of my dreams and I'm here with my Michael Mat Batiste and he's a pro staffer of Googling Bowl Game Calls and he did an awesome job of, uh, we, we tried working him uh, later this morning and came flying off the hill and, and uh, we figured we'd give it one more try this afternoon, it's about 4.30 and we came up on this hillside and Big boy was bugling, but he wouldn't, wouldn't come in, and Michael started breaking, and it was enough to piss him off, and in he came. And it was less than 20 yards, and, and he took a couple steps, and down the hill he went. And it was a great experience, and he did an awesome job calling. Thanks. Hi, I'm Michael Batiste, pro staffer for Bugling Bull Game Calls. Uh, we're here with a bull that... Uh, Klein Lowe just took to the right of me is Ryan Slagle, one of my longtime hunting partners. Ryan and I have hunted together about five, six years. Um, the reason Ryan and I are in this picture and not Klein, I mean, we got Klein once. Um, we have nicknamed this bull Catch Me If You Can. We have been after this bull for three, four years now. Something like that. It's been a while. About three, four years. Could never close the deal on him. Um, he just would always round up his cows and just go the other way. And um, we, we were actually to the south of him. This morning we got up on the ridge, um, Ryan and I and, and Klein, and, and Ryan and I were calling for Klein, and um, we heard him across the across the draw from us, and um, nothing was up top, so we kind of decided we'd roll around and see if we could work him, and well, it worked perfectly. We rolled around, and, and we came down right on top of him. The only problem is he once again gathered up his cows and just boogied. Um, before we knew it, he was back across the other side of the draw where we had just started from, and we were kind of scratching our heads thinking, man, what do we got to do to get this guy? And so um, we knew they went to bed. And so what we did is we kind of sat over there, um, put together a game plan. We had a spike come in on us. And Klein, thank you for not shooting the spike when he came in earlier. Um, so Klein and I worked up on the hillside, kind of got close, probably within about uh, 60 to 80 yards of this guy. Uh, was trying to cow call, thinking we can get in close, get him over, thinking that some cows had strayed, but he just wasn't having anything to do with it, so I started bugling. Um, he kind of got lit up a little bit. I heard him raking, so I grabbed a stick, started raking. He came in. When I stopped raking, he actually turned to go away again and was going to gather up his cows and take off. I uh, started raking again, did a challenge bugle, bugled right over the top of him because he was continually bugling right over the top of me. And you know what, he came in perfect for about a 15 yard broadside shot for Klein. Um, you know, Klein says this is a bull of a lifetime and you know what, I, I definitely agree with that. Uh, uh, 
I think this would look pretty awesome above any any fireplace. What do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah. So yes, it would. So you know what? This this brings to close the 2005 elk season. Um, once again, we had a very successful year, 100% tag out, uh, five bulls on the ground. Um, this, of course, is the granddaddy of them all. Um, not to mention, it's kind of nice when you get a bull at 15 yards and he rolls back down the hill for you. So uh, your track job is pretty short too. So hopefully all of you guys had a great 2005 season. Everybody was safe and hopefully you were successful and uh, we'll see you on down the trail.